it's Yassi and welcome back to my channel. I hope you're having a great day. Today guys, I've got a haul for you. It's a few little different bits of mobs. So yes, today I've got a few a haul. Um, it's not like a usual haul I do. It's not a specific haul. Um, basically, payday was Friday, just gone. And I bought myself some stuff and I thought, you know what? Why well, keep it to myself? Let me show you guys what I've got. So it's not a massive haul. It's not a crazy exciting haul, but I have some stuff from B&M. I got something from Amazon and I've got some things from Boohoo. So I just thought, you know what? I'll show you guys. Some of it's quite exciting for me personally. <laughs> I'll start with B&M. Let me start with B&M. And I'm going to start with the item that I was probably the most excited for getting. And it really, it's probably the least exciting item on the haul, but for me personally, I, <laughs> I was very much excited to get this. This is just the box. Um, I got a mop! <laughs> Honestly, I was actually a little bit ridiculously excited to get this. Um, I've been coping with kind of like a bucket and a mop that doesn't quite fit in the bucket. <laughs> and. Uh, since lockdown, I've been doing a lot more cleaning and things, and I needed something. And I got this guy. It was an offer at B&M. It was down to £17.50. Um, they sell for various prices. I've seen them up to £30, so this is really good. I'll probably maybe put in a video if I can, but it's mop, and you put the mop in, and you just hold it off, and if you press this pedal with your foot, it spins the mop around, so there's no more squelchy, squelchy, pressy, press in. And it works a dream. I've literally just cleaned my bathrooms yesterday with it and it's fun. It really is. Now this is when you become a proper full-on grown-up adult, isn't it? When you get excited about mops. <laughs> anyway, yeah, £17.50 and it's probably one of my best buys of the year. So I've got some other stuff from b that weren't all as dull, let me assure you. Firstly, I haven't got them to show you because uh, we've eaten them. Uh, I bought Chris and I some orange twirls. B&M had loads. I remember the last time they brought them out, they were just like the rarest thing ever. You couldn't get them anywhere. I never even so much as saw one last time they came out. Anyway, we've had one. Um, I had one this morning, actually. I, I liked it. Chris is a big fan. Chris is a fan of orange chocolate, but I, I think I prefer a normal twirl. It's controversial, I know. But I love tw twirls probably like what my one of if not my most favorite chocolate bar so yeah hmm. i liked it but yeah i think i prefer another one chris really likes it i spoke to other people who think that it's amazing so but yeah i like it it tasted like as if twirl had been taken over by terry's chocolate orange it, it was nice uh, there were 69 pence in b&m there are a lot of places that are selling them for a lot more money so it's worth checking your b&m if you're interested in trying one so similar then, and I haven't eaten these yet, I also got some Lotus, Lotus, Lotus Biscoff biscuits, but these are the one with Belgian chocolate on the bottom. These are a pound per pack, they come in little packets of three, there's seven of them, one for each day of the week if you wanted. Um, I love Lotus biscuits, Chris has been doing a lot of baking actually with Lotus biscuits, he makes an amazing Lotus biscuit chick, chick, cake, oh my god I can't speak. Um, he actually just did one for my sister's 30th birthday last week, it was very very nice. And he's done a cheesecake as well with them. But I haven't actually tried the ones with the chocolate on the bottom. So these are a pound and I'm sure they won't last long. Oh, okay, this is another boring one. I know I said the mop's probably the most boring one I've purchased, but it probably is these guys, which I can't actually remember how much they were. Maybe a pound, eight packets, uh, cold and flu season is upon us. I've been trying to kind of fight off a cold, I think, for a while now. It hasn't quite kicked in, but these will certainly be handy. Like I say, boring. Next, this is something you often see on my Super Drug Calls probably. It's the Simple Kind Skin Eye Makeup Remover. It's my favourite eye makeup remover. I love it. If I see it in B&M, I tend to get it because it's always a decent price. These are £1.79 each. Super Drug does have them on offer sometimes, which is when I tend to stock up. But like I said, if you've got them in B&M for a good price, I can't fault it. I absolutely love this stuff. Probably going to need it today. Went a little bit crazy with my eye makeup today. I don't know. I haven't really played with makeup recently. Oh wow, lockdown's happened really because it's just felt like what's the point? But uh, I was ready, getting ready to film a video for you guys and I just kind of went with it. I mean it's probably atrocious because it's been a while but it's nice to have something a little bit different. And these guys will help me out later to take it off. 
The next thing that I got then is this super cute little trinket tray thing dish. Um, I just thought it might look nice. Well, I, I really liked it. It's a rainbow, it's beautiful. They've got in there at the minute actually a rainbow bath mat that I just adore. I think it's so gorgeous, but we've done our bed bath bedroom, bad bathrooms recently and they've got bath mats in them. And I don't know if the rainbow one would go, but they're like, it's a rainbow at either end with little pom pom -y bits and I love it. My bathroom's kind of black, white and grey and it probably would go, but Chris said he really didn't like it. Not that he gets to say I'd put it in my bathroom if I want to. Anyway, this cute little rainbow tray was £1.50 and I thought it might be nice even if it appears on my Instagram or just to go kind of somewhere and look cute. Okay, and the last thing then that I got from B&M, they have Christmas stuff out already and it's probably the time yeah we need to start thinking about it i think it was just like from on payday it was three months to christmas that is just bizarre anyway <laughs> i get one of these every year much to uh chris's disdain but i got jakey a christmas jumper the extra large fits him quite well so i got him an extra large um he's had one for like santa on and he's got a cute one with polar bears on this year i went for a snowman it's a beautiful blue one um, and it was four pounds. I mean, come on, four pounds. They, they, and like I said, they fit in really well. And when it's winter, you can get a little chilly, bless him. So I just thought it was really cute. It can be his Christmas day, Christmas jumper. I might wrap it up for him. He loves unwrapping presents. He's more bothered about the wrapping than the stuff you give him. Okay, so that was B&M. Next, and I did only pick up one thing from um, Amazon and it's probably not that exciting. It's to go with my mop. I got some Sephora. No, I'm not turning into Mrs. Hinge. I, I don't like cleaning. I know I got excited about the mop. It's just something that makes it easier. Um, so I got this one. It is um, the Fresh Horn Order Disinfectant in Green Valley. And it is the one that's kind of pet friendly. Obviously with having Jake, it's very, very important. Um, so this is in the scent Green Valley Fragrance. I hadn't actually smelled it before, but actually as luck would have it, it's very nice. I used it in the mop yesterday. Um, this one it was £5.45, pence for it is the 500ml, it is a big one. I, I did uh, three bathrooms with it and I filled up a squirty bottle with it. Not with it entirely, dilute. So that's why there's some missing, but this will last a good old while. Like I said, it's £5.49, 45 sorry. Um, but it does, you can get it on the subscribe and save, which I might do, which makes it a lot cheaper. I do, I do tend to get a lot of stuff on the subscribe and save. <laughs> It's perfect. I don't think I've ever really talked about it on this channel before and I've mentioned it in my last couple of videos. Okay, so moving on and perhaps maybe slightly more exciting now, I've got some things from Boohoo to show you. Um, basically it was Pay Day, they had one of their um, premiere days where like people who are premiere subscribers, or subscribers, just premiere customers, I don't know. Um, it's the thing where you sign up for a year, you get free delivery for a year. I have used that so many times this year. I've been, this is my second year actually doing it. Um, and I really like it. And I noticed um, with this premiere thing being on, um, there was a lot of sales stuff going on. I kind of checked my wish list, and some of the things that I had on my wish list were a lot cheaper. So I thought, you know what? Let's do it. Let's do a boohoo haul. It's only a small one, it's not a massive one. Okay, first thing. Yeah, I'll get, get these two out of the way. Um, if you watched my last boohoo haul, this, it was kind of a boohoo sale haul, I picked up a lot of bikinis. I know. It's not the climate for it. It's not a time for holidays, but I did. Anyway, I, I picked up another one. This is actually one I picked up in February before I went away on holiday. Um, it's a gorgeous tropical neon print. And like I say, I picked it up before I went on holiday to February. And if you remember watching my last boohoo haul, I talked about how I had some issues with a couple of bikinis breaking. This was one of them. And I really, really liked it. I even put a post on my Instagram wearing it, but then disaster struck. And the um, clasp at the back snapped. Like, I don't know how, I don't know why, I don't know what happened. It happened to two of the bikinis I got from Boohoo, um, both very similar design. I'm just slightly worried that what it was, was possibly because I got a size 10, size 10, the bottoms fit perfectly, perfectly. And the top seemed to fit okay. But I do worry that sometimes my boobs are a bit bigger than a size 10. So what I've done this time is I've picked up the size 12. So I don't know if the bottoms will fit as perfect as the 10s, but I still have the 10s. So what I was thinking I could do is use the size 10 bottoms and then the size 12 top. 
And then who knows if I do end up going on holiday again, this could the size 12 bottoms could be an end of the all-inclusive week kind of bottoms. <laughs> but no, I really, like I said, really, really like this. It was a really I love bright colours for holidays. And when I saw this on the sale, nonetheless, for six pounds and thirty pence. I mean I'd be happy I'd happily pay that for just the top, to be honest. But I got a top on the bottom. And like I said, it's a beautiful one I've had before. I really genuinely loved it and I was devastated when it broke like genuinely really devastated so I picked it up again hopefully this time the clasp won't break like I say now I've got a size 12 it's definite they're definitely gonna fit in there <laughs> okay and then moving on again I, I, I picked up another bikini top I actually already own this bikini but a different style I got well I'll show you it I've got this print in very much that design, the one that I've just shown you. Um, but this was on sale. This is the kind of round the neck version, whereas the other one's more of a bandeau. Um, and I just love the colour of this one, I really love it. But this was two pounds, two pounds for the top. And I thought it could go with the bottoms that I have to go already. I just thought for two pounds, and if, you know, one of them was to snap, <laughs> I was gonna fasten it then, I don't know why. Um, so I got this again in a size 12, just cause I think the cup size is better. For, um, yeah, my bosoms. This one I didn't even realise, I don't think, when I got it. It's a push-up one. <laughs> so my boobs are going to look hella good in this one for £2. Okay, moving on, I will show you possibly the most exciting thing in this entire haul. This has been on my wish list for a long time and I haven't got them. Uh, let me show you. If you know me, you will know that I absolutely adore Disney. Anything Disney is my just, I love it. And my childhood favourite growing up was The Little Mermaid. And I've wanted these for a long time. I got some pyjamas. Oh, it's Sebastian. I actually already have the flounder ones. I picked those up when there was a sale on a couple of months back or so now. But these were still at full price at the time and I really wanted them because they're pink and pretty. Um, they're like long sleeved ones, but then they're shorts and the shorts are the cutest thing. They've just got these frilly edges. They are beautiful. Like I said, pink is very me. Disney's very me. The Little Mermaid is very me. So I had to, had to have them. Uh, these were down to £12.60. It's not exactly Primark pricing, but they're good, decent detail. They're decent, de decent quality uh, pyjamas and they're Disney. They are Disney, so branded pyjamas, it ain't too bad. And like I say, I had the flounder ones, I happen to know that they are comfortable. Um, the size 10, which I got these in, fits me perfectly. So, yay! Okay, your next item is, I just saw it on the sale. It was actually before, I was just heading to check out and I saw it there and I was like, hmm. And again, I, uh, I don't know what I'm doing. I was thinking kind of, oh, that's like the perfect holiday dress. <laughs> I think I'm seriously missing holidays maybe and I'm just kind of thinking if I buy the things the world might stop being crazy. I got a dress. Um, it's actually nicer than I was expecting when, I, when it came. I just I really like the pattern. I like the kind of tropical leaves and flowers on it. I thought it was very holidayish. It was very floaty floaty and the material when I've got it is actually different to what I thought. It's that nice kind of crepey kind of material. It's actually by AX Paris, which I think is that, is it New Look that stocks them as well? Um, I've had something from them before, I can't remember what. So this is a floral smart dress in a size 10. It says it's a colour red, but I would say it's more pink. Um, so yeah, that's just really pretty. Uh, six pounds that cost me in the sale. And I just think it'll do for next summer for that price. And then, you know, you have to pick up nice things while it's in the sale. Next year when people can go on holidays, things are gonna go through the roof, aren't they? Okay, the last item is something I'd had my eye on on Boohoo for a little while, but as soon as I had the money off, I thought I would pick it up. I got it, it was £14, so it's probably the most expensive thing in the haul. Um, and it's a cardigan. Um, it's a little bit more cropped than I thought it was going to be, but I just, I really liked the design of it. It's white at the front with black sleeves and then a grey back. And I just like the kind of monochrominess of it. I just thought it was really nice. And I was after some kind of, I've been after hoodies really, but a cardigan, you know, I do love cardigans too. And it's that kind of warm, it's the weather now where we want cardigans. We want to be warm. And I just thought it was really nice. Like I said, I thought it was a bit different. The fact that it was like the three blocks of colour 
I really liked it. They did have this in various colours, um, but I did like the sale. I like the kind of monochrominess of this one. So £14, a nice winter warmer. And that, guys, is the haul. That's what I picked up this payday. Um, don't fret, I am sure there will be um, a Revolution haul and a Superdrug haul, no doubt. Also, I'm trying to do a Revolution haul at the minute. There's a couple of the new Friends things that I want and they keep going out of stock. So I'm kind of in a, putting an order in because uh, I could do with some more concealer soon. And I, so I will definitely be putting an order in. But there's a couple of things on the Friends section that I want that keep going out of stock. And I'm trying to hold off until they restock. They restocked on Saturday and I wasn't quick enough by the time I got there. I'd, I'd been out to the shops to pick up this stuff. So I hadn't, uh, yeah, I missed it. And I'm slightly annoyed. But we'll get there. And if, you know, they don't come back in stock, like I say, I want some concealer and stuff, so I will be putting in an order. And you know me, I can't keep away from super drugs, so <laughs> I'm sure there'll be a couple of hauls coming soon. And I'll try to wrap it on less than I have now, because I really am blah, 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 blah. Anyway, guys, uh, drop me a comment. Let me know what you think of some of these things that I picked up. Excited about the mop? Is that am I, is it a daft thing to be excited about? What do you think of the clothes I picked up? Just drop me a comment, let me know. Say hi, anything. I do like chatting to you guys in the comments. So... Um, if you've enjoyed the video, please do me a favour and hit that like button and give me a huge thumbs up. And if you haven't already, it would be fantastic if you could subscribe. Like I said, there'll be hauls coming soon. There is bits and bobs, you know me. Uh, yeah, check out my channel. You'll get the idea of what I'm about. If you haven't already from this rambly video. Anyway, guys, thank you so, so much for watching and I will see you next time. Take care. Bye-bye.